Hello everyone, my name is Thomas and welcome to my Lovercraft channel. Please consider subscribing if you are interested in Lovercraft. One of the most frequent asked questions is what tool are you using, where did you get it and similar kind of questions. So I decided to make series of videos and go through everything I use while crafting my goods. You see on my social media. In this particular video I will go through every tool I use. I already made same video about hematals I use in Lovercraft. First of all, I want to mention I'm not sponsored by any company. All the tools I bought for my own money, it's just my personal choices over 6 years in Lovercraft. Also, we leave the links for all the tools which I got online in the video description. If you don't know where to start, probably let's start with quality and pricey tools I have. Love the Palosanto factory company tools from South Korea. Nicely made, heavy, solid leather crafters, round mallet, or maybe I should call it maze, for punching freaking irons. I have two Palosanto made edge bevelers in size 0 and size 1. Size 0 I use for single layer leather edges, size 1 for glue at multiple layers. I recommend even don't waste money on cheap edge bevelers or it would be my first tool to upgrade cheap tools to quality ones. Another great tool from Palosanto is French skewer. I have it in size 8. Scratch all. Very useful tool for warrior's marks while crafting. And the last tool I have from Palosanto factory is this scalp. Which wrap handle I made by myself, it comes totally nude, but it doesn't make any inconvenience to work with. Great knife to cut layer tapered blade on both sides. Another great South Korean company which makes top-notch breaking irons is KS Blade Punch. I have some warriors breaking irons, my main set of three breaking irons for most of my crafts. I use black diamond shape 4mm step breaking irons with 5 and 2 prongs and single round punch. With this breaking iron I make first and last hole on my craft, then the ends of stitch look straight. Also I have set of breaking irons which I use particular for making watch straps. These are French style and 3.38mm step and 2 prongs round breaking iron. Also from KS Blade company I have this hole puncher for watch strap. Extremely precise and well made. This one is making 5 holes 2 mm diameter with 7 mm step. Teeth can be changed or as I remove some and use it as single hole puncher if needed. Regarding to hole puncher for watch strap, I also have such oval holes puncher. Same from KS Blade was quite too pricey for me. I believe price was something over 300 US dollars. So I bought this one on AliExpress 5-6 times cheaper. Probably not so great quality as KS Blade, but enough good quality and totally use it. With this puncher probably that's it with my top notch pricey tools. Now I will continue with tools from Aliexpress, which is not the best quality tools, but still usable and I myself use them. Links I will leave in the video description, these are affiliate links, so I'll get some percentage of your purchase. The tool about I'm getting most questions after every of my new crafting videos released. This tool uh, is these pricking pliers. I even have made separate video about this tool, but in general this tool is great because you can control place of stitching holes while making those on both sides. Using these pliers for years it helps a lot make nice even stitching holes. Tongues to press glue pieces, I added leather pads to prevent crafts from embossing while pressing. I have two dividers. One is set to 4 mm and I never adjust it and use only for marking stitching line around corners. And second is more fine, which I use for any distance I need, as to adjust it more easy and precise. 
Next on the list is Groover, which I used to make Groove for Stitch. It's made by Chinese company Odin and for AliExpress quality standards, it's pretty nice. It comes with three different size Groover tips, but never used any than one millimeter size. Roller with the handle. I use it to press while gluing large areas of leather and tongs can do the job. Slicker or wood burnisher, whatever you call it, I use made of ebony wood, I have them in two sizes. Such nippers for cutting thread or the rope while I'm packing crafts. Very convenient small tool, I have few of them over the workshop, to always have it at hand. This tool, I mean right angle jig, you probably mostly see at carpenter's workshop, but it works good for me while I'm gluing leather pieces. Another simple jig is wooden sanding paper holder. Usually I do sanding with just small pieces of sanding paper, but this jig nice to have while sanding round corners. One call it tool, I mean needle bottle applicators. It works best for me to apply glue and tokenal onto my craft. And also here I'll mention these glue applicators which I use to spread glue. I'll finish my tool list with tools which I obtained not online, but somewhere else. Custom made skiving knife by local maker, or to specify this is a prototype of the knife, actual knife making process is still on hold. Ordinary hammer, which I use to flatten stitch inside pockets. Steel ruler, great for cutting leather straight. Binder clips works great to keep pressure while glue is drying. Install leather pads to prevent leaving marks on your craft. These binder clips you will find at your local office supply store. To melt thread ends I use ordinary big lighter. That's all the tools I am using to create my crafts. Hope I don't miss any tool. If you have any questions please leave them in the comment section. If you can support me any of these ways, I would be very appreciated. My crafts and PDF templates could be found on my webshop strhandmade.com. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!